previously on Found. Hey, do you have the directions to that baseball game? Yeah, I do. You know, it's all the way in Burbank, but it's for charity. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's go. Wow, did I do this off? I think I missed the exit. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we did, but um, the check engine light's been blinking. Should I pull over? <sighs> did you find out anything, Lindsay? I can't get a hold of the guys. I don't know. I mean, everything kind of looks the same. It, it could be the battery. I don't know, and Ugh. I have no idea where we are. We are definitely lost. Great. We should go find some help. Where are we? What's that? Looks like today's the uh, Hawthorne Park and Recreation Foundation's 18th annual golf tournament. Nice. Now that we're here, we might as well perfect our golf game. I'm Lindsay Case. And I'm Cindy San Luis. We're at the La Cañada Country Club. Now this place is absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a closer look. The La Cañada Flint Ridge Country Club is cradled in the San Gabriel Mountains and is a quick 18 minute drive north of downtown Los Angeles but you'd never guess you were so close to the city. Really nice canyon views, it's a very, very pretty course. Picturesque views are in every direction at this 18-hole par 70 championship golf course. Hey, rang the bell. <laughs> you might even see some wildlife. It's beautiful, there's deer running through the canyon, so it's a really fun place to play. It's beautiful weather and love this golf course and it's, it's for a good cause. The country club opened in 1962 and has lots of amenities. We have six tennis courts, we have a beautiful uh, Olympic sized swimming pool, so we use that during the summer. This is the second time the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation is holding the golf tournament here. Well the country club has been very nice to us and uh, it's a beautiful scene when, when we're here. You know the drive is, is a lot shorter, um, we can get up and back a lot quicker, um, they put on a very nice meal here, they treat us great. We can see why the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation picked this place, it's beautiful. The foundation has raised over half a million dollars for the City of Good Neighbors, but how did it all begin? The Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation was founded in 1984 and has contributed over $500,000 to the community. One of their most successful events is the annual golf tournament. We've been putting this on every year and basically all the funds go back into the community for all the recreation programs and facilities. It's a great charity, Hawthorne Parks and Rec does a lot of good work in the City of Hawthorne and uh, we feel uh, privileged to support it. We do every year and we'll continue to do so. This year, the organization plans on combining funds from last year's tournament to modernize the City of Hawthorne's swimming pool complex. It's a complete renovation of the pool and uh, in the past we've put in divider lines and and uh, put in a motor for the refurbishing of the uh, solar cells to heat the pool and, uh, and it's completely redone this time. The city's been hard at work for the past year and plans to open the pool this summer. It's the second week of July, completion date. The pool will be environmentally friendly. By using an energy efficient water filtration system, the city can save water. The interior of the building is also being renovated. With summer around the corner, the community is looking forward to the pool's reopening. Can you tell which of these children was not born free? Can you tell which of these children was not born equal? Can you tell which of these children does not deserve to be treated with dignity? We can't either. Human right number one. We are all born free and equal. What are human rights? Find out at youthforhumanrights.org. Hey Mark. Hey Mark. Hey. Where have you been? I lost my cat. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, so I made this cat magnet to try and get him back. Cool. Does it work? Kinda. 
Ow! Nice. Yeah, but that's not my cat. I gotta keep working on it. See ya. See ya. Anything's possible. Keep thinking. Get started on your own inventions or just play some games at inventnow.org. In the event of a big emergency and, and I'm at work, my daughter's uh, school is, is two blocks away. That would be a very convenient meeting place for all of us. We'd uh, meet up at his parents' house. A meeting place? Not really. Um, my husband would definitely pick up the girls from school. I would want to make sure that she is has the girls or is on her way to get the girls. I know that there's a plan, but I don't know what the plan is. Hey, look. Walkie-talkies for each of us. Perfect. Why don't you take the front nine and I'll take the back and uh, we'll see how the tournament's going. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah. 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 The scramble begins with a shotgun start. 20 teams are participating in this year's golf tournament and the competition is fierce in this four-man best ball. We are staying honest and we're only one, we're one under par right now. But if we were oh, no. playing like under Dennis Wilde rules, we'd be probably four under par right now. Contrary to what Doug Herps said, we, I play by the rules. He, he, um, you know, he works with stocks and bonds. He doesn't play by the rules, trust me. Go, 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 go. Yeah! We did good on this hole. We got, we got par, which was good. Um, and this is probably one of, the, one of our favorites. Well, the game's going really well on my end. Let's check in with Lindsay and see how the tailies are doing at the back nine. Thanks, Cindy. I'm here on hole 10, and everybody's having a great time. Oh! <laughs> Some teams have high hopes. I predict we're going to win it. I uh, hope we get some more birdies and win this tournament. While others are losing a lot of balls. They're going out into the rough, into up on the, uh, the rocks and down over the hill here. Most but in the trees. Most in the trees. But every now and then we have a few on the green. We're playing all right. We've, uh, I've hit about, oh, yeah. I think, seven or eight balls out of bounds and I've lost them but I brought plenty of balls today. I got three free balls. I went through those like the first three holes. <laughs> and so uh, I've got another uh, 20 or 30 balls in my bag, so I think I'm good. And some are finding themselves over par. <laughs> oh. It's uh, par 70, but there's some tight holes. Oh, no. Yank it. Yeah, I can't believe that. You've perfected the course if you score 70. Anything below 70, and you're ready to compete with Tiger Woods. Lindsay. Come in, Lindsay. Hello? Hello, is anybody there? Hello? Hello, Cindy? Yeah, I've been seeing other people on the holes. Who are the others? I've got the answer to who the others are. They're the spotters. Now, what exactly is the role of a spotter? Well, ours was closest to the uh, hole, you know, closest ball to the hole. On the, on the drive. On the drive. And then we had one there that was three feet, three inches. Our first role of the spotter is to duck. <laughs> the second is we watch when they hit and we try to tell them where their balls are hitting, in the trees, the bushes, or down the road, sand pits, or if they're on the green. It's a scramble format here today at La Cunada Flint Ridge with several holes having prizes. Let's take a look at those special holes. The prizes are dispersed throughout the 18 hole par 70 course. There's a couple really nice ones on the back side. The biggest prize is a trip to Hawaii, but in order to win it, one lucky golfer has to hit a hole in one. It wasn't Amy Chick's day. The one over there that is super, super far. Oh my God, yeah, the one over there. That you have to hit over some water or something. I got my first hole in one two years ago uh, in my life, so I do have one personally, but not today. So far, the course has been difficult. Not since I've been doing this have they ever had a hole in one. The spotters have been very busy chasing golf balls. Very windy. It's playing havoc with their balls, too. Well, we have fun. But I know there's some closest to the pin holes. How are you guys How are you guys doing on those? I had a good hole. I don't remember what hole it was, but uh, yeah, so I think I was about seven feet, 11 inches, she said, away from the hole. In the end, the course was challenging, but enjoyable for all of the golfers. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <Where> you go. <laughs> Oh, it must be careful. Well, that's a nice picture. Come on, Anna. Okay. 
Foreclosure doesn't affect just you. It affects your whole family, too. If you've fallen behind on your mortgage, we can help. Call 1-888-995-HOPE because nothing is worse than doing nothing. Big dreams and good grades aren't enough to get into college. There are actual steps you need to take. Finding someone who can help is the first and most important. For the next steps, go to knowhowtogo.org. Well, I was lost with my whole game of golf this morning, but I think I found my swing. Hey, Cindy. Definitely been a challenging and fun day, but golf works up an appetite. I am famished. Well, let's find out the final results over some much-deserved food at the banquet. Sounds great. And I want to welcome you all to uh, La Cañada Flint Ridge. It's our second year of having the tournament at this location. After a hard day of playing the course, golfers celebrated with a three-course dinner. We were very fortunate to have a foundation. Um, a lot of cities don't. Um, and, and they work real hard every year to raise money uh, to supply uh, things that the city can't do. Trophies were handed out to award winners. Third place went to the Bear Elegance team. In the second place card off was the Dick Miller foursome. <laughs> and taking home top honors for first place was the Harris Insurance team. And the team who finished sine qua non. And that's for last place. They deserve something. City team number one. Everyone's a winner when they come and they support the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation. Here's a look at the leaderboard for the official results. I guess no one's going to Hawaii. No hole in one again. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey. What happened? Hey. The van broke down and we stumbled upon this golf course and got lost for a while. Yeah, but we found out about a great tournament. Well, I have jumper cables in my car, so I'll be right back. Okay. Great. The Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation's 18th annual golf tournament was a success. That's right. A lot of money was raised for a good cause. Thanks for joining us. I'm Cindy San Luis. And I'm Lindsay Case. We'll see you next year.